All right, what we have here is an example of Windows XP running through Parallels 5. Parallels 5 is a Mac program that is able for you to install Windows operating systems, Windows 7, Windows XP, and whatever you want, really. There's a lot of options for installing not just Windows, but multiple types of operating systems. Now, here's a great example of how you could run Windows on a Mac. So you'll notice I have a start menu inside my Apple dock and there's that Windows start menu that maybe you Windows users are very comfortable seeing. Internet Explorer, QuickBooks for Windows, Outlook for Windows, OneNote, Access, the kind of things that maybe sometimes you might need on your new computer to transfer data or to continue using programs that that's what you use for business or, or so forth. Uh, they're not made for the Mac, they're not perfect on the Mac. Outlook, you don't have to use Outlook, you could use Entourage. Word, Excel, and PowerPoint are made for Mac, and Entourage is the Mac version of Outlook. Some users prefer Outlook instead of Entourage. Uh, you could, if you want to, use Mac Mail. Snow Leopard integrates Microsoft Exchange support, so maybe that's your solution. The whole bottom line is, feel free to get a new Apple computer, and if you do need to, to still run some Windows stuff, then fine, install Windows. Have Apple Electronics install Windows. And in the end, you could run fluidly your Windows applications on your Mac. In the future, start to wean yourself away from those Windows applications. Don't get the Windows version of Office. Invest in the Mac version of Office. Start using all of the, the Mac applications as much as you can. Don't use Internet Explorer for anything else besides accessing your VPN. You're going to go to app.com and make a purchase? Use Safari. Where you know that you're on the Mac side, you're safe, you're secure. You're not concerned about antivirus, spam, or spyware, malware, all those things that will still affect that Windows side. Or, if you want to, you could switch your view. So I'm showing you coherence mode, a feature of parallels. And these red hash marks show you that these are Windows applications. If I were to change my view, I could show my view in a window mode. So now, my Windows XP operating system is going to appear as a window on my Mac. And I could go ahead and do everything I want to here on the Windows side of my computer. If I prefer full screen, sure, go to view, change to full screen mode, and very fluidly it'll swap into a full screen mode. It even tells you how to get out of full screen mode. All you would need to do is put your cursor in the upper left corner, it flips over, click it, and boom, we're going to go back to the Mac, and here I am, back in window mode. You don't want to deal with these modes, and you just want to go back to your new Apple computer and enjoy it as is and go back to that really nice coherence mode and then you just won't notice the difference Mac and Windows running simultaneously fluidly allow you to do anything you want to on your new computer may it be in a Windows application, a Mac application, whatever you're good to go outside of that keep in mind there are resources being consumed here so what you're going to want to make sure of is that your parallels system is perhaps configured to work the best it can under the general setting, you can adjust how much RAM is allocated to Windows and how much RAM is allocated to Mac would be the leftover. My computer that we're working on has a 2.8 processor and 4 gigabytes of RAM. And what you could do is say, okay, well, let's utilize 2 gigs on the Windows side. Maybe that'll make things run more fluid. Uh, be cautious. Buying a very basic watered-down computer running Windows, it'll do it, but it may do it a little bit slower, and there might be some lag times between your programs. Otherwise, you're pretty much going to be good to go and run anything you want to that's Windows-based. Use programs that you might be more comfortable with. QuickBooks for Windows. A QuickBooks user that has been using QuickBooks for Windows for a long amount of time just may uh, prefer that Windows version. There's a Mac version, and by all means, go ahead, get the Mac version, transfer your data into the Mac version, and move forward with the Mac version. That's ideal. It's just that, for this example, QuickBooks user prefer the Windows version, it seems. I'm not a QuickBooks user, but we've had lots of customers express that concern. Outlook and OneNote, OneNote and Access aren't available on the Mac. So if you gotta have it, this is your way to do it. Now, Apple offers you a program called Boot Camp. In Boot Camp, you can install Windows also. But you'd have to turn it off and turn it on every time. It's a little bit of a hassle. This has integrated everything right in front of me and makes it really easy to use Windows and your Mac all together.